Hey guys, welcome to Workflow My Workload. I'm your guide, Justin Razio, and today we'll be looking at how to take a smart sheet and turn it into a template. Um, if you have a, a, a certain format or a certain build out of a sheet that you keep using over and over and over, and you're like, man, I hate having to recreate it every single time you want a template, Smartsheet offers that option. So let's take a deep dive into that and see what that looks like. Also, down below in the bio, I have a free lesson I've created for you guys, absolutely free. If you haven't yet already signed up for it, please sign up. It's free, 40 minutes of deep dive into Smartsheet content. All right, guys, let's take a look. All right, so this is how you create a template within Smartsheet. So say you have a, uh, <clears throat> a sheet like this and you like how everything is put into place, but every time you start putting in the data, right? Um, and then you like, you like the format, you like how it's built out. Um, every time you're putting in the data and you save it as a sheet and then you're like, oh, man, I don't wanna have to build this entire sheet out by scratch again, or I don't wanna to have to keep deleting all the data that I put in here so I can keep all of this information exactly the way that it is. So the way you fix that is Smartsheet actually has an option, unlike Excel, where you can save it as a template. So you go to File, Save as Template. And let's go ahead and call this, let's call it Test Template number five. And then you can, gives you the option, you can choose which folder and workspace you wanna save it in. We're just gonna leave it in Sheets. And then you get the options here where you can include recipients and permission settings. Pretty self-explanatory. I like to keep this box checked, especially if you're working in the same department. And I like to leave these all checked as well. All right, we'll click Save. And uh, we'll bounce out of here now here is the template that we just made and the way that um, I know that this is a template immediately is this icon right here it doesn't look like a blue sheet it doesn't look like a report and it doesn't look like a dashboard it looks like this icon right here and that's how you always know it's a template and what's nice is when you click on it it doesn't take you right into it right away it's, it's giving you a preview showing hey are you sure this is what you want to use as a template because this is how your template is going to look yes this is what i want i want to use the template and now because i've chosen to use this template um, when i give this a new name and i click save i am no longer working inside a template I am creating a brand new sheet. So all this did was give me a, well, what it is, a template, an outline of what I want to use. But now when I give it a new name, and let's call it, <clears throat> let's call it August. Let's do August Gantt chart sample. And I click save. It is now a sheet. It's no longer a template. And say I've put in data here. Let's do, 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 do. And you know, you're filling this out, blah, 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 blah. You like it, you click save. And you're like, all right, now I wanna make a sheet um, with the same template, same format, but instead of um, August, I want it for September. So click back here, template number five. And again, it's automatically everything is blanked out for us and it kept everything the way that it was before because we're in the template. I'll say I want to use a template. Now I'm going to give it its own name to create it into a sheet. Let's say September. Leave it in sheets. Leave this all the same. Click save. See, now it's a fresh slate because it's in September. It's now no longer August. All of this stayed the same in our template, but the data is uh, blank and ready for us to put in new fresh data. So this really comes in handy when you're working with a lot of different projects that you want to keep in the same format, especially if, um, say, you're using like a lot of forms that, that need to be used over and over and over and over and over, but it needs to be saved under a different project. This comes in really handy. Also, if you save a sheet as a template, like we did at the very beginning to create this, and you have formulas in there, the formulas will carry over. 
Um, if you have hyperlinks, the hyperlinks will carry over. It's super, super convenient. And that is how you create a template in Smartsheet. File, save as template. And once you do that, you're gonna have this icon right here that you can always go back to anytime you need to use it. All right, you guys, that is it. Take care and God bless.